Hello folks and welcome to Pokemon Go. Guys, there is some really exciting news happening in Pokemon Go. It's going to be feature updates, adding stickers to gifts coming soon, and inviting friends to raids coming later this month. Wow, this is very huge guys. So let's go take a read on this. Trainers, more exciting changes will be coming to Pokemon Go in the coming months. And we wanted to share an early update on a couple features you can expect this summer. One is the feature that was previously announced. The ability to invite friends to remotely join you in raid battles. The other is the new update that will now allow you to personalize the gifts and send your friends with the in-game stickers. Make your friends smile with a gift sticker. Sending gifts to friends just got more personalized. Want to show your friends how much you appreciate them? Soon you'll be able to add a special sticker to the gifts you sent. When the feature is rolled out, you'll get a set of stickers for free. Right before you send a gift to a friend, tap add sticker and pick your sticker to attach. At launch, there will be five stickers available. You can use the sticker only once to be sure to stock up on more by opening gifts. In the future, you'll be able to purchase some designs from the shop. Invite friends to raids, regardless to your location. As we continue to make changes to Pokemon Go that further adapt gameplay to individual settings, you're excited. We're excited to announce that you have the ability to invite friends to raid. We'll be rolling out soon. We're excited to announce that you have the capability to invite friends to raids. We'll be rolling out soon. When the feature is available, you'll see a plus button in both public and private raid lobbies that you've joined in person. After tapping the plus button, you'll be able to invite up to 5 friends to join you. Your friends will be able to see raid invitations on their nearby screen or in push notifications. These invitations will allow them to enter the raid lobby. Your friends will use a pass only once the battle starts, not when they join the lobby. While the feature has been released after the highly anticipated legendary Pokemon Reshiram has already left raids, fret not. The fast white Pokemon will be back in raids in the future, so you'll have another chance to face off against it and test your resolve for the truth. Please be aware of your surroundings and follow guidelines from local health authorities when playing Pokemon Go. Upcoming events are subject to change. Be sure to follow us on social media, opt into receiving push notifications, and subscribe to our emails to stay updated for latest on in-game events and feature updates. Be sure to check this help article for more resources from the Pokemon Go team. This is a big game changer everybody we're getting to the point that we are going to be using remote raids to invite your friends from wherever you are so this is really a big game changer for pokemon go which i really would love to get this going for my friends if you ever want to be able to come to my discord channel here's the discord link right down below you go check it out and we will get into communication that you will be in raids with me for sure so we'll have to see we'll have to see how it's gonna work out also we'll have to see how much eligibility it will take i heard it's about five people to be eligible to be coming to raids so make sure the five people will come in for pokemon go also we have another return pokemon latias and latios zip back for another special raid weekend event so trainers the legendary pokemon latias and latios are coming back to raids for a special raid weekend event these eon pokemon haven't been seen in the sky since january of this year so be sure to catch them during this weekend before they fly off again. So here it is. It's going to start at Friday, June 12th at 8 a.m. to Monday, June 15, 2020 at 10 p.m. local time. Features are going to be the legendary Pokemon Latias and Latios will be in five-star raids. Latias and Latios are both dragon and psychic types, so it's best to bring along 
another dragon type Pokemon such as Rayquaza and Dialga. They are also weak to Ice, Bug, Ghost, Dark, and Fairy type attacks. So, recommended Pokemon to round about the raid battle teams are Tyranitar, Togekiss, and Mamoswine. Please be aware of your surroundings and follow the guidelines from local health authorities when playing Pokemon Go. Upcoming events are subject to change. Be sure to follow us on social media up to receiving push notifications and subscribe to our emails to stay updated. For the latest on in-game events and feature updates, be sure to check this help center article by the pokemon go team so we're gonna have ladios and ladios come back for another four days last but not least for another update is going to be certain pokemon's alolan and galarian forms will soon hatch from 7km eggs so trainers it appears something strange will be happening to the eggs you can receive from gifts certain pokemon's alolan and galarian forms will be hatched from all 7km eggs we aren't sure how long this phenomenon will last, but we can assure you the Professor Willow is on the case. When the Throwback Challenge event ends on Monday, June 8th at 1 p.m. on your local time, the following will be the only Pokemon hatching at 7km eggs will further notice. Galarian Meowth, Galarian Zigzagoon, Galarian Darumaka, Galarian Stunfisk, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Fulpix, Alolan Diglett, Alolan Meowth, Alolan Geodude, and Alolan Grimer. Please be aware of your surroundings and follow guidelines from local health authorities and playing Pokemon Go. Upcoming events are subject to change. Be sure to follow us on social media, opt to receiving push notifications, and subscribe to our emails to stay updated for the latest of the in game and feature updates. Be sure to check on the help article from the Pokemon Go team. Now we're getting somewhere, we're no longer going to have fossil Pokemon in eggs, finally. And that should be it folks, we're going to go back to the part where I do the throwback champion for getting Calarian Pokemon and also going through quest. so check it out. We have a throwback challenge happening with the professor, the icons right there. Here it is folks, so hi there film. I can't help but be impressed by your progress. You've done fantastic work in researching Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh regions. Now that we've researched Pokemon that were found in those regions, let's take a closer look at Pokemon originally discovered in the Unova region. I think it's fascinating that even though we know a lot about Pokemon from all over the world, there's always more to learn. Speaking of discoveries, I've been doing some additional research and heard about an interesting phenomenon that has to do with Meowth in the Galar region. I was speaking to a researcher who's the granddaughter of the Kali from Galar, and she shared some intriguing information. It seems that Galarian Meowth lived in seafaring people, which toughened their bodies so much that parts of them turned to iron. Maybe I could get a few workout tips. I've been looking for some ways to toughen up myself. Anyway, let's do some more research on Pokemon originally discovered in Unova, but be sure to keep your eyes open for other exciting discoveries. Here we go. So the Throwback Challenge Champion 2020 is going to be make 15 great throws and then catch 15 Pokemon and then transfer 15 Pokemon. So make 15 great throws is going to give you a wild encounter. Catch 15 Pokemon is going to give you one incense and then transfer 15 Pokemon is going to give you 30 Ultra Balls. It's going to reward you a Pokemon appears and then 500 Stardust and 500 XP. Okay, so I just got back in the shower and I found a Galarian Stunk Fist right at my incense. So we're gonna go catch a Galarian Stunkfist. Oh my goodness. Out of nowhere, I just found it. Ooh. So they're actually spawning everywhere in the world. So I'm actually excited for a Galarian Stunkfist. That's gonna be the first one actually. We got the Galarian Stunkfist. And here it is, Metal Claw and Earthquake. Oh, 15 attack, nice. So we actually complete these rewards right here. So let's go claim the rewards and see what we get here. Oh, Galarian Meowth. Yo, 
What's up, Galarian Meowth? Nice. Alright. I like the animation for this. This is awesome. We got a Galarian Meowth right here. So, we're gonna go catch this boy. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Galarian Meowth. One. Two and a three. We got Galarian Meowth. Right here is a Galarian Meowth with six candies and... Hey, that's not bad. Three stars. Actually, I was thinking about evolving the Galarian Meowth so that we can get over with with the evolved Pokemon. So let's actually do this. We're going to evolve a Galarian Meowth and have the Galarian Berserker. I can't wait for the Galarian Berserker. And it's going to be evolved into Berserker. Let's see what it is. Oh, that looks so cool. We got Berserker right here in the Pokedex for Gen 8. Wow, let's go. That looks sick. 1001. Let's check it out. Next research. We're going to be claiming the rewards right now. So let's do this. 500 Stardust. We got 500 XP. This is going to give us a Gothica. We're going to go to research saying wonderful work trainer. You might be familiar with the tradition in which a Pokemon trainer selects their very first partner from the group of three Pokemon. These first partner Pokemon are normally fire, water, or grass types. In Unova, many trainers choose the water type, so Oshawott, as their first partner Pokemon. This sea other Pokemon is known to use Scale Chop on its stomach during battle and it isn't that just adorable please continue your research and let me know your findings and so it's gonna give us five our candies to evolve five pokemon a wild encounter to hatch 15 eggs and also win 15 raids gives us 10 max revives okay do you see 15 raids in here it, that's a lot that that is a lot to do for raids and then the world around us, it's its an issue. So I just feel 15 raids is a lot to do. So I feel they could have somewhere around three raids so that people can raid less within the time frame, even though it's not timed. And even though giving us extension time to do this, still 15 raids, it's a lot to do. And also hatching 15 eggs, that is a lot of polka coins to go get those incubators and super incubators. So it's it's a lot. Plus, we got a raid right here. So let's go actually raid a Bagon. Lucky. Luckily, I got a Bagon right here at my place. So we're gonna use a remote raid pass and we're gonna do a Bagon. Hey, okay, down goes Bagon right here. Let's see what we get for the CP. 634 okay so let's go catch this one this is gonna count for win 15 raids and see if we get a shiny bagon shiny ah not shiny for this one all right folks that's about it we will be continuing to go through throwback champion pretty soon so yeah we'll stay up to date so thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and night Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. The subscribe button's right here and the bell notifications right here so you won't miss my posts. And I will see you guys in the next Pokemon Go. Laters, bye.